sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Hey, hey, it's the afternoon edition of the Daily Weather Briefing video. This is for Wednesday the 13th. I'm James Spann, 13th of July. Got some pretty active thunderstorms in progress today, so let's go right to the radar. And uh, here's the situation. I'm doing this update uh, live at uh, about 2.15. And you can see it's not raining everywhere, but where the storms have formed, they are fairly strong. In fact, we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect down here for parts of Bibb and Perry counties. You can see that uh, cluster of strong storms that is located near Centerville and Brent dropping to the south. And the warning is the yellow polygon you see there. That includes uh, places like Centerville, Brent, down toward Highburger in Perry County. And those storms extend down US 82 down toward Maplesville. The main threat with the thunderstorms today will be from strong straight line winds, uh, wet microbursts. Uh, and again, on the leading edge of the storms, the gust front can also produce some strong winds. And also, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of lightning in that uh, cluster of storms that you see there that is uh, over Bibb County. Again, that's dropping to the south. Again, we'll expand the view, and we've got uh, other thunderstorms to the north of Birmingham through parts of Blunt and Cullman counties. Uh, and additional showers are forming over here in parts of Marion and Fayette counties in northwest Alabama. And we'll expect to see a general increase in the number of showers and storms over the next several hours. Just keep in mind where they do form, they could be, early, be fairly strong. Uh, we have a severe thunderstorm watch that is currently in effect for parts of West Alabama back in the central Mississippi. Uh, this is in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. And uh, that uh, watch includes Pickens, Tuscaloosa, Bibb, Sumter, Green, Hail, Perry, Dallas, and Marengo counties. The counties there in yellow. But other storms that form could be strong uh, as well. And we'll go back to the radar in a moment. Let's take a look at the big picture today. This is the upper air look across the country. And again, the idea is that we have a ridge in the west and a trough in the east. And we have a northerly flow aloft here, a north to northwest flow aloft that's pushing the storms towards the south southeast today. That's the visible satellite view. And again, you can see those clusters of storms. And what happened, we had a pretty good mass of storms this morning over northwest Alabama. And these new storms are forming on the outflow of the morning storms across the central counties of the state. And again, that's what you see there in parts of Bibb and Perry counties uh, and also over in parts of Mississippi. And in fact, if you look at the temperatures, you can kind of see what's going on here. You've got 79 at Cullman, 82 for Haleyville. And obviously that's pretty cool for a July day. But south of the rain cooled air from this morning, Tuscaloosa's got 91. Utah 92, Centerville at 90 when this observation was taken. They've obviously cooled down with thunderstorms. And again, around the region, you can see Huntsville at 80. They had some rain this morning. Down to the south, Montgomery 89. Dothan, nearby rain showers, they've got to 81 degrees. So again, uh, this is our severe thunderstorm watch. Parts of West Alabama and central Mississippi, that's in effect until uh, 9 o'clock tonight. There's kind of a broader view. Uh, we've got heat advisories off to the west, parts of uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, those extending back into parts of Texas. Here's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. And of course, we've got a risk down here. The higher probabilities are in that slight risk area, the yellow you see through central Mississippi and parts of West Alabama. That's basically where the severe thunderstorm watch has been issued. That's a level two out of five. And a marginal risk covers uh, much of the rest of the state through this evening. This is the outlook tomorrow. Got a marginal risk kind of clipping parts of southeast Alabama. That would include Auburn, Opelika, Troy, Eufaula, down toward Dothan. And then on day three, which is Friday, no organized severe storms. Quite frankly, a pretty good chunk of Alabama will likely be dry on Friday. So this is the uh, rain for the next seven days. And again, uh, most of Alabama average amounts. The key here is average. This is not necessarily for everybody, but uh, about one half inch for the Tennessee Valley, one to two inches for the rest of the state. And uh, the Hurricane Center on their latest update, they have dropped uh, that 10 uh, percent uh, chance for the Gulf Coast. It's just not happening. Uh, there's a weak trough near the Gulf Coast that's going to stay inland. Uh, tropical storm formation not expected for the next two days and not expected over the next five days. The Atlantic Basin now uh, very quiet. 
So model fans, let's quickly go through modeling. And again, we'll check the radar before we uh, go here in a minute. But this is uh, tomorrow, the, the GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 4. And again, the core of the really, really hot weather is off to the west. Uh, parts of the southwest United States, we have troughing north of the state. And drier air will be trying to push in here. Uh, but again, there's obviously enough moisture in place for still a few scattered showers and storms about. Let's go to uh, Friday. And again, Friday should be fairly dry for the northern half of the state. Just a very small chance of a shower. Uh, maybe a few scattered showers for the southern counties. Even there, probably not much. And then for the weekend, looks kind of standard summer weather. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. Partly sunny. Uh, highs over the weekend. 88 to 92, and there could be a few scattered storms about, but uh, certainly a decent chunk of the weekend will be dry. And then early next week, evidence moisture levels will be increasing uh, a bit. This is Monday and this is Tuesday. We'll have scattered showers and storms about, a mix of sun and clouds, and highs probably upper 80s both days. Still no sign of any excessive heat here for a while. And this is a week from today, Wednesday, the 20th of July. Again, the uh, main heat ridge off to the west. And again, standard summer weather. Partly sunny, scattered afternoon and evening storms. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, the 23rd of July. Ridging here across the deep south. And again, that looks pretty quiet. Check the rain for Birmingham coming off the GFS Ensemble. The mean between 2.5 and, and 3 inches between now and the end of July. Look at heat levels coming off the NBM, the National Blend of Models. And you can see most days we got upper 80s and low 90s through next week. And then evidence maybe we tick up toward the mid-90s around the 23rd as the ridge tries to rebuild. And the latest 8 to 14 day outlook in the house shows uh, the core of the heat again west and northwest of here. Now temperatures may be a little above average out there. This is for the period July 20th through the 26th. So again, let's go back to the radar, and again, you can see we've got uh, clusters of showers across the state. The, the rain we're going to see this evening for the next several hours will not be as widespread as what we saw this past Saturday, that big, massive, organized rain. It's not going to be like that, but again, where the storms do form, they could pack a punch, especially on the western side of the state where that uh, severe thunderstorm watch is currently in effect. And again, we'll take a look at the uh, storms down in uh, Bibb County. And again, this has prompted a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, the polygon includes Centerville and Brent, and then down into uh, Perry County, down toward Highburger, down Highway 5. And also thunderstorms developing down toward Maplesville and Chilton County. And a lot of lightning with this, just a tremendous amount of cloud to ground lightning. Uh, lighter showers uh, east of I-65. Uh, in the eastern part of Chilton County. The Birmingham metro for now is quiet. And again, up north, we got a cluster of storms that's located over parts of uh, uh, Cullman and Blunt counties. And a pretty good thunderstorm sitting on top of Bluntsville. And again, we'll keep an eye on these. Uh, they'll continue to develop. Any spot could see a thunderstorm this evening. They'll be popping up uh, and become really scattered to numerous here over the next several hours. And most of them should die down once the sun goes down later this evening. And again, uh, tomorrow, the, uh, it won't be as active. Uh, the better chance of the heavier storms will likely down, be down across the southern half of the state. But uh, we'll be watching things throughout the course of the afternoon. And that's what we do here. And uh, that's going to do it for the afternoon edition of the weather briefing video. And again, for those that are new here, we, we do these twice a day. I do them during the week, Monday through Friday. Uh, the morning video runs live at about 5.30 a.m. And I know that's early, but it is what it is. Uh, and then the uh, afternoon, uh, anywhere from 2 to 3 o'clock about this time of day. And, of course, most people watch them later uh, and other times uh, as needed. So that's it. If you can, uh, catch the notes over on the blog. That's alabamawx.com. And we'll be on TV over in Studio A across the way here, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. So thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Sinking driveway, call Alabama Professional Services. Settling patio, call APS. Uneven pool deck, call APS. Collapsing stoop, call APS. Cracking sidewalk, that's right, call APS. It's a fact, concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today, 205-926-1700.